hello students welcome to virtual class by municipal corporation of greater mumbai today we are going to learn english hello students welcome to virtual class myself sagar mahale your virtual class teacher and today we are going to start eighth standard english syllabus first unit and the first poem named as be the best this poem was written by famous western poet douglas malloch before we start reading the poem and understanding it i would like to give you a previous knowledge about this poet and this poem this poet shares an encouraging message for readers of all ages means not for just kids teenagers also adults although we don't hold prestigious jobs we all don't have high five high qualificationary jobs but we have at least some job our position in life does not make us more or less valuable the beauty of this world is shown when each person does what he has been called to do and does it with great pride and when we measure our success by the standards of this world many of us will feel as though we have fallen short but douglas malloch reminds us that success is measured by being the best at whoever you are like many he came from humble roots but he used his gift of writing to touch the lives of many people so students you have to remember only one simple thing that you have to be the best whatever you have whatever god has gifted you the family the money the talent you have to be satisfactory with that and you have to be happy in whatever you have now let's read the poem first be the best if you can't be a pine on the top of the hill be a scrub in the valley but be a best little scrub by the side of the river be a bush if you can't be a tree if you can't be a bush be a bit of the grass and some highway happier make if you are a musky then just be a bass but the liveliest bass in the lake we can't all be captains we have got to be crew there's something for all of us here there's big work to do and there's lesser to do and the task you must do is the near If you can't be a highway then just be a trail If you can't be the sun be a star It isn't by size that you win or you fail be the best of whatever you are written by Douglas Malloch So students by reading this poem at many stanzas you might have understood that poet wants us to be whatever you can be but be the best if you can't be a doctor then fine become a teacher but a good teacher even if you can't become a teacher do the more or less job but whichever job you choose you have to be thorough in it you have to be perfect in it and that's why 
the poet says it's whatever you are whatever you can be it's an inspirational poem penned by douglas marsh as i said he was an american poet and also a short story writer this poem be the best is actually about his keen observation of mother nature the title of the poem itself reveals the meaning of the poem and its concept too he is trying to tell us that whatever we do we need to be the best he has used examples from the nature to convey his message now let's see this poem with help of some pictures and so that you can understand it very clearly and we will also go through the new english vocabulary now what do you mean by pine or a scrub on the right side of you there are the pine trees on the left side of you that those are the scrubs which are in the valley so the first line of the first stanza of the poem if you can't be a pine on the top of the hill be a scrub in the valley but be but be in the last the poet says but be means if you can't be a pine a big pine tree no problem of course it's a great pride to become a big pine tree but it's also not worse to be a scrub in the valley because every tree every root every branch on this mother planet is having their own importance the main central idea of the poem is whatever you are you are very important to this planet earth be a human being be a non living thing be a tree be a plant be a water sun star anything everybody has its own importance to the next stanza the best little scrub by the side of the rill now what is a rill you can see the picture of a rill it's a small stream of a river flowing all the way from the mountains to the forest the best little scrub by the side of the rill means the poet is trying to convey that if you can't become a big pine tree no problem be a scrub but be such a beautiful scrub which is found near the rill at the side of the rill that kind of scrub you should become means agar aap कुछ बड़ा नहीं कर सकते कोई बात नहीं उससे कुछ छोटा कर लो लेकिन वो एक बेहतर तरीके से करो परफेक्ट करो दिस इज द सेंट्रल आइडिया ऑफ द पोए द नेक्स्ट स्टैंडा बी अ बुश इफ यू कॉन्ट बी अ ट्री बुश यू कैन सी द स्मॉल पिक्चर द स्मॉल ट्रीज द स्मॉल प्लांट्स विच आर विच वी कैन सी इन गार्डन एंड ट्री everybody know what a tree is so the poet says if a be a bush if you can't become a tree and if you can't be a bush be a bit of the grass and some highway happier me so students the poet gives us an option if you cannot become a tree no problem you become a bush chalo if you cannot become a bush also again no problem you can become a bit of grass sat the side of the highways which looks so beautiful which makes the happy highway which makes the highway happy and also the people on the highway which they pass which they travel also make them happy everybody likes to see greenery when we are in train or in a car or in a bus when we drive when we travel from one place to another at that time if the highway is covered with grass there are grasslands mountains nature everywhere then everybody is happy so the poet says again i'll repeat if you can't be a tree become a bush and if you can't be a bush be a bit of the grass and some highway happier make moving on to the next stanza 
If you are a musky, then just be a bass, but the liveliest bass in the lake. Now, students, musky and a bass are a breed of fish, a type of fish which we can find only in the regions of North America. Musky is a very hard to catch fish. We cannot catch musky easily and it is like a liveliest fish in the sea or waters. And bass is a very common fish, an edible one. Musky is also an edible one. Bass is also an edible one. If you are a musky, then it's nice, it's good. But if you can't be a musky, then become a bass. But if you become a bass, then become the liveliest bass in the lake. Means a very proud bass, a proud bass fish you can become. If you can't become, uh, for example, I'll give you in your language, you have ranks in your classroom, first rank, second rank, third rank. Fine. If you don't get a first rank, at least second rank is must, or third, or fourth. But there should be a rank. That means if you want to become best, be the best in yourself, in whatever you have. Be happy in whatever you have. The poet also gives an example of a ship in this poem. The next stanza is, we can't all be captains. We have got to be crew. What does the crew mean? Who means all the other employees which work on ship and captain is in charge of all these crew members. So, her ek captain nahi ho sakta. Kisi ek koi captain banaya jata hai. For example, in her class, teacher makes an only one boy or a girl of the class monitor. There is one headmaster or headmistress in your school and rest other all teachers. Because everybody cannot become a headmaster. Similarly, everybody cannot become a captain. Rest other should do the other work. For example, if we become all rich, hum sab amir log ho gaye, to fir chote kaam jo hote hai, wo kaun karega? Jo naukriya hoti hai, wo kaun karega? How the world will run? This world will not run if everybody become wealthy or rich by having more money. So, the world needs balance. That's why the poet has given a beautiful example of captain and crew. The poet says, we can't all be captains. We have got to be the crew. There's something for all of us here. There's big work to do and there is lesser work to do. And the task you must do is the near. Poet says, don't wait for the big work. If there is a lesser work, fine, do it. Students in few countries, they treat every work as equal. For example, if cobbler is mending shoes and a doctor is treating patients, in some countries, the doctor as well as the cobbler are treated equally because every job is important job. Every person is important person. We should not compare jobs. We should not compare people on basis of their work or their job or the way they earn their income. And that's why the poet says, captain is the in charge of crew. But without crew, captain alone cannot sail the ship. And without captain, the whole crew cannot sail the ship. They are mandatory for each other. Mandatory means दोनों भी एक दूसरों को एक दूसरे की जरूरत होती है इसीलिए द पोएट सेस एवरी पर्सन इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑन दिस मदर प्लैनेट इज हैविंग देयर ओन इंपॉर्टेंस द नेक्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड इफ यू कांट बी अ हाईवे देन जस्ट बी अ ट्रेल व्हाट इज अ हाईवे एवरीबॉडी नोस बट व्हाट इज अ ट्रेल path in the woods, in the jungle or in the farms. Many of students, you might have went to your village. In our village, we can see the small paths in the farms or in the jungles or in the woods. So there is a big difference between a highway and a trail. 
Through a trail only a person by walking can pass. But through highway, many trucks, motorcycles, bus, cars, many vehicles can pass easily and speedily. But the poet here says if you cannot be the gigantic highway, no problem, you can become a small trail. But become such a beautiful trail that the highway should also look less in front of you. Now see this trail, it's so beautiful. There are all trees, plants everywhere and it's gift of a mother nature compared to highway. Highway is man-made. Highway is also beautiful. Trail is also beautiful. But become such a trail that you should not be compared with the highway. If you can't be the sun, be a star. In the next stanza, what the poet says? If you can't be the sun, no problem. Sun is the biggest star in the galaxy, as everybody knows it. But if you can't become the biggest star, no problem. I will become a small star because every star also have their own importance. Suppose there is only one star in the sky, that is sun, and there are no other stars in the sky in the night. How the sky would look like? Black, dark, pit, nothing else. That's why every small star might be they are very small than sun, but still they have an importance of their own. So students, this was our poem. The poet continuously convinces us and conveys his messages, his message to be confident, to be just you. You can be confident, successful, beautiful, intelligent, hardworking, whatever the words are given on the screen. You can become all. How? By being you. If you be yourself, then you can become anything. And the size? The size, of course, it doesn't matter at all. Because all about the size of hearts matter. Whatever the matter is, whatever matters is the size of your heart, not your size. And that's why in the last, the poet says a beautiful message. It isn't by size that you win or you fail. For example, if you have a great job of doctor or a big job of some collector or IPS, IS officer. But if you are not good at your heart, then there is no use of your qualification or your high prestigious job. But if you are a simple teacher or you are a workman like sweeper or the garbage collector, but if you are good at your heart, then your job doesn't matter which job you do. You are a good person. That's how your you will be recognized by the people, by the rest of the world. And that's why the poet says, be the best of whatever you are. So student, now let's see, we'll have a look on the meanings. Scrub, an area covered with small low plants as we've seen in the picture. Rill, a small stream of a river or flowing all the way from the mountains to the river. Musky and bass. Those are the names of fish, the breeds of fish which are available in North America. Crew, as I said, the rest of the employees working on a ship, the sailors, they are collectively known as crew. Lesser, unimportant, or less important. Trail, a narrow path in the woods or jungle or farms or plateaus. Now these are some questions for you students. What is the main difference between a pine tree and a scrub? What do people like to see along the highway? And what is the message given at the end? These will be your questions. Find out from your textbook and answer them. So we end our lecture today here. Thank you very much. I hope you have understood the poem as well as the message conveyed by our poet Douglas Malach. Thank you very much. Thank you students. This was our today's lecture. And don't forget to press the bell icon as well as the subscribe button 
for more interesting videos. Thank you very much.